All right, what's up everybody? I'm gonna show you how you can make your own house beat. All right, we're gonna go to our beat sequencer and instruments. All right, swipe over to the drums. I'm gonna go back to the beat sequencer. All right, when you make a house beat, um, we're gonna use our kick drum as the main sound. All right, so the kick drum is always on beats one, two, three, and four. All right, so we're gonna highlight beats one, two, three, and four. All right, you can hear we have our kick drum going now. So next we're gonna record this kick drum part. All right, sometimes when you hear record, notice how it's not playing, so just stop it, hit undo here. All right, now we'll hit record. And it's gonna record it for four bars here. All right, so we're gonna stop it. We're gonna go back to our grid view right here. So we're gonna click the grid view. And there we have our first uh, drum track, which is just the kick drum. All right, now if you hit play, you can hear it. So again, a lot of times in house music, it, it layers the drums in one at a time, each part of the drum in. All right, so we're gonna go to that second square and hit record. All right, next part we're gonna add in is our clap or our snare. I'm gonna use the clap. Now, the clap is always on beats two and beats four. All right, so we're gonna highlight beat two and beat four. All right, then we're gonna hit record again and record our kick in with the clap now. Again, let it run for four bars. All right, once it's done, we're gonna go back to our grid view. All right, we, we're going back to our grid view so that we can record each different part in the next open square. All right, so that's the one we just did. All right, so now I'm gonna click on that empty square to the right and tap record again. All right, next part we're gonna add in is our hi-hats. All right, now when you do this on your own, you can put the hi-hats in however you want. Um, I'm just gonna start drawing in some hi-hats here. As you listen to it, where you feel like you want more, you just kind of put them in where you want them. All right, so I'm just kind of drawing them in here as I listen to this and kind of where I feel like I want them to be, all right? recording without playing again so I'm just gonna hit stop undo all right hit record now it'll go properly all right now it's gonna record four bars of our kick clap and hi-hat together all right so now I've got that I'm gonna hit the grid again all right so now I've got three different drum loops now so we're gonna go to that fourth empty one hit tap it hit record all right the purpose of this is to layer in each sound one at a time all right so now i'm going to put in my open hi-hats all right your open hi-hats is that second blue one it's going to go in between two closed hi-hats all right so i'm going to put one there all right we're going to try one there Again, you put these where you want to, where you feel like um, you like the sound, all right? So it takes some trial and error, all right? Didn't really like that one. And once you kind of find one that you like, we're just gonna hit record again, all right? Let it record again for four bars, four measures. All right, then we're gonna go back to our grid. All right, we're gonna do one more. So we're, that fifth one, we're gonna tap it, hit record. 
All right, now we're down to the toms. These are part of the drum. Um, you see a drum kit, they're the, um, kind of wider, deeper sounding drums. All right, so now these you can place wherever you want, wherever you kind of feel different rhythms as you're um, kind of vibing to your beat. Sometimes, sometimes I just I just place them randomly, and if I like how it feels, I just kind of go with, with with the rhythm that I feel with them. All right, so I, I like that, so I'm gonna record that. All right, now that it's recorded. All right, we'll go back to our grid. All right, and here I have my five drum loops. Now the purpose of doing that again is that a lot of times in house music, they'll start with your basic kick drum like this, all right? And then as, as the song progresses, they layer in um, the next sound of the drum machine in, all right? Kind of builds up that anticipation, builds up that dance rhythm, you know, gets the crowd going. All right, so I'm just kind of playing through so you can get the feel of what a house beat might might sound like, might feel like as you build it up. So this is your goal today. You're gonna make five different um, drum loops using the beat sequencer. Um, you're gonna start with your kick drum, and then you're gonna layer a different sound in each time um, so that you get at least five different drum loops that you can then record. <laughs> 